middle school students. This is Jackie from Multnomah County Library, and I'm here to tell you about Library Connect. With Library Connect, you have a free Multnomah County Library account using your student ID number as your library card. This is the Library Connect homepage, multcolib.org slash libraryconnect. You can find this page from anywhere on the library's website by clicking on the Using the Library menu and selecting Library Connect. What can you do with Library Connect? You can download ebooks and audiobooks, use encyclopedias and articles to help with your research, work with a tutor to help with your homework, stream movies and music, and borrow physical materials like books and DVDs. Let me show you how to use your account. I'm going to click on this link where you can learn more about your account number and password. Your Library Connect number is your school district code plus your student ID number. You can find your school district code listed here. The default password for a new Library Connect account is your birth date in the format of a two-digit month, a two-digit date, and a four-digit year. So for example, if my birthday was March 5th, 2011, my password would be 03052011. If you have trouble using your Library Connect number and password, you can come into a library location, call, or chat us to reset your password. Whenever you're at the Multnomah County Library's website, you can find out how to call or chat by clicking on the contact link in the upper right corner of every page. So now that you know how to log in, I'll show you how to access resources for your grade level. I'm going to go back to the main Library Connect page and we'll click on Middle School. As I scroll down the page, you can view the resources that are available to you through Library Connect. Live Homework Help is a free tool that lets you work one-on-one -on -one with tutors who can help with math, language arts, science, and social studies. Live Homework Help is free and tutors speak English, Spanish, and Vietnamese. You can even upload a paper and have a tutor help you with it. Click on this link to see the hours that Live Homework Help is available, as well as to find a tutorial video. Click on Go to the Catalog to search the library for books, DVDs, ebooks, and much more. This section has materials that you can download or stream. You'll need to set up a free account for each of these services with your email address. At Overdrive Kids, you can find ebooks and audiobooks to download. Overdrive also has an app called Libby that you can get for mobile devices like phones or tablets. Hoopla has streaming movies, music, and TV shows, and you can also read online graphic novels and comics. An app is available to download for mobile devices. Canopy has movies and TV shows to stream with a focus on classic and documentary films. Canopy also has a mobile app. Here, under Resources, you'll find tools to help with research. Your teachers may recommend that you use some of these for assignments. Some, like eLibrary or the World Book Student Encyclopedia, cover a variety of topics and could be useful in a lot of your classes, while others, like today's science, are more subject specific. If you sometimes struggle to find a good book to read, Novelist Plus is a great place to get suggestions. And don't miss Mango Languages, where you can learn a new language, including English, for non-English speakers. Library Connect is free, and you don't have to worry about late fines. There are never fees for using digital materials. If you lose any physical materials that you've borrowed, contact the library to discuss what to do. I'm going to go back to the main Library Connect page now. If you need more information about how to use any of the tools on this site, the library has created videos and print tutorials about them. You can find them here near the bottom of the page by clicking on the link that says Guides for Educators. 
Thanks for listening, and we hope you enjoy using Multnomah County Library through Library Connect.